Hey, welcome to uh, What the Fuck Sutter. Um, <clears throat> from my uh, home office here, I, uh, a little bit late. Uh, I was going to send it out from up front in uh, New York, uh, but it was uh, kind of crazy there, so it didn't seem uh, 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 doable. Um, and then uh, I was going to send it out yesterday, but uh, I'm here at um, my home office and uh, I think my router shot, so uh, um, hopefully I can get this to you guys some point this weekend. Um, uh, so we had the upfronts, uh, which is a little, uh, uh, actually it's, it's not little anymore, uh, it used to be little, but now it's, uh, it's where uh, the FX shows um, gather. Uh, we go to a, a, the Lucky Strike bowling alleys um, in New York, and uh, um, it's all the talent, the, the showrunners, and uh, uh, it's it's basically an opportunity for uh, the um, um, the guys that are sort of in the trenches, the men and women who are in the trenches, selling the show to uh, uh, to advertisers. You know, they're the ones that uh, have the relationships that reach out to, you know, Miller and, <clears throat> and General Motors, um, you know, all the big, uh, all their big sort of uh, um, uh, sponsors that ultimately um, allow us to do all this. So uh, they're really the folks that, uh, 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 that do, uh, do the heavy lifting to finance uh, what it is we enjoy doing. So uh, it's an opportunity for uh, the network to uh, to thank them and to uh, engage them and for the fans uh, you know most of them are fans of the show so uh, everyone sort of comes out but it's also great because for me and I tweeted about this um, you know I've been at this network now for uh, a long time you know and uh, really uh, the shield kind of uh, launched them into uh, scripted programming and uh, to sort of seen how they've grown and, and what they've become and uh, under, uh, you know, initially under uh, um, uh, Liguori and uh, Kevin Riley, Peter Liguori and Kevin Riley, and then uh, handing it off to Landgraf, how it's, uh, you know, it's really grown into a great environment, I think, for, uh, uh, for talent. And uh, um, it was really cool. I really had kind of a great nostalgic uh, uh, moment uh, this uh, this past week, and uh, it's really great to see uh, Landgraf uh, flourish. Um, uh, I just think TV in general would be so much better uh, <clears throat> if uh, people sort of adopted his philosophy to uh, uh, running a network and uh, engaging uh, talent. I tweeted this uh, sort of smarming, a smarmy tweet uh, uh, while I was there. I just had this thought of. If every, uh, you know, if if um, if network spent the money on people with vision instead of people with libraries, uh, uh, television would be uh, uh, so that much better for it. Um, I, I just I can't read another headline on uh, on Deadline uh, Hollywood that contains the word reboot. Uh, so that's the drill. Uh, show is going well. I'm a little behind on 502 because of the trip, but uh, I'll have that done uh, early this week. Um, we coming very close to uh, closing a deal for one of our major actors uh, for the season, and uh, uh, when that gets done, uh, we'll be able to uh, announce who that is. Um, what else? Uh, I think that I'm um, I'm covered in schmutz because I just uh, made my kid pancakes and uh, most of it ended up on me. Uh, here's our question for today. Um, it's uh, from Chris uh, Whitehead. Hey Kurt, love the show. Blah blah blah. You even inspired me to buy a bike and start riding. Hear that, Harley? I inspired him to buy a bike. And start writing. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, my question is about Jackson Opie growing up. I know JT was killed when Jax was a teenager. Uh, so, at what age did the two of them become full patch members? Did they still have to prospect, or did they get a pass due to what who they were? 
Also, did Jack step right into VP or was it later on? Uh, I understand you can't give away all the secrets, but I'm very curious. Um, no, I don't mind actually giving away secrets <coughs> about, uh, uh, or they're not secrets, I mean, the, the mythology, I think it's cool for people to know that. And, uh, um, and I have, whenever I have an opportunity to kind of get it out organically uh, in the show, I try to do that. Um, yeah, you know, I think we, if I remember the timeline, uh, I think Jax was about 15 when, uh, 14 or 15 when JT was killed. Um, but yeah, I think uh, they probably, you know, they 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 had to go, they had to do what everybody else does to, to join the club. You know, they began probably as hangarounds and, you know, when they were in their late teens. And, and my sense is that uh, they, uh, uh, you know, they patched in, you know, or, or began the patching process probably, you know, 19, 20, and, uh, and absolutely, uh, they had to, uh, uh, to prospect. Um, I even, you know, at some point we even talked about uh, perhaps that, uh, you know, Jack's, uh, you know, JT didn't patch Jack's in right away. Like he might have had to do the prospecting uh, period uh, uh, a little bit longer. Um, uh, and you know, it's almost like he he had to prove himself a little bit more because because of who he was, rather than getting a free pass because of who he was. Um, and also the idea at that point that you know, um, uh, you know, even though even though JT uh, was gone, that you know Clay was trying to mentor him and and and. Um, was probably feeling some guilt or some remorse as far as the what happened with JT, you know. So there's a lot of emotional dynamics, I think, and familial dynamics that probably fed into that period, um, uh, which uh, uh, which would explain that. Uh, and I think the same thing with Opie, you know. Uh, definitely, you know, if you think about the character of Piney, who, uh, you know, Piney's a Piney was a hard dude, and. Uh, and I don't think he made it easy for Opie to patch in. Um, in fact, there was probably part of Piney who didn't want Opie maybe to, to patch in, uh, feeling the way he did about Clay, feeling the way he did, or having the suspicions or the understanding of what potentially happened to JT. And, uh, um, you know, I don't know if, uh, if Piney was necessarily down with the whole idea of Opie patching in. Uh, um, so I think that uh, uh, I think that influenced uh, that decision and, and, and that path. Um, uh, and, uh, and no, he definitely didn't step in. You don't step into being a, a, an officer when you when you when you just join the club. You really have to prove yourself. And uh, and yeah, at that point, I think Jax's legacy and and uh, and who he was, you know, uh, there was a certain amount of expectation on him and. Uh, um, we had figured this out at one point, uh, and I forget exactly what it is. But if Jack, you know, if Jack's patched in when he was like 19 or 20, and he's uh, now he's president at uh, uh, in his early uh, 30s, um, you know, my sense is he was probably a patched member for, you know, five or six years. You know, I think when we meet Jacks in the pilot, he's probably been VP for a few years, um, and. Uh, um, and probably the youngest VP they've ever had. Um, but at that point, I think he had proved himself and Gemma was very much set on him becoming the next president and, uh, and really wanted the prince on that path. So um, uh, that's, actually a, that's actually a great question. Um, uh, and it's really, I gotta tell you, as much, you know, I know this is for you guys and, and, uh, and it's cool to do, but the thing I love about this dynamic and these kind of questions is, is I forget this shit. You know, I forget some of those mythological, you know, um, uh, milestones. And and when I'm able to do this with you guys, it just, you know, honestly, it gets me thinking again, and uh, it reminds me of shit, and it just sort of uh, keeps the process going. Um, that I, I I don't have the opportunity to do in the room because in the room we're focused on you know what's happening in this episode, what story arc is moving forward. So a lot of times I don't have time to 
turn around and be sort of reflective of where we've come from and where we we what we've done and and uh, and that's why you guys are so great because you're so plugged into that and the mythology and 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 the manuscript and uh, uh, you know and 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 the fan the fanboy component on that is uh, uh, is really great to uh, to engage so I thank you for that and uh, um, and that's the drill. We, uh, uh, I'm doing this blog for uh, GQ. I think the first one, uh, the, the first one was out last week. I'll probably put out another one this week, and uh, um, so look for that. And uh, and that's the drill. Thanks, and we'll uh, talk to you soon. Or not.